With Swimlane, incident response is a natural use case that can be automated as much as desired, including full automation. Many Swimlane use cases have incident response built natively into their design, like this example featuring the response to phishing and SIM alerts. To integrate the full incident response process into your existing use cases, you can also use Swimlane Incident Response. This application incorporates every step of the incident response plan from preparation through post-incident recovery. The application can be standalone or tied into existing use cases. When a new incident occurs, the process starts with a new record. Everything in this design can be adjusted to fit your organization's requirements. Overall information such as priority levels, SLAs, requirements, and escalation paths can be shown as well as any documentation such as the incident response plan itself. Once the priority of the incident is selected, the record fields are displayed to guide the user through the required process. At the top of the record are widgets displaying the overall incident information such as status and priority. The case name can be generated or tied to an existing case. As the user steps through the process, the timeline widget will adjust accordingly to display where in the process the incident is currently. The knowledge base remains available on this tab throughout the incident. Moving over to the Incident Management tab provides access to all the fields that need to be completed in this incident response process. The user starts by completing the identification fields. Once the identification fields are completed, the record can be saved and updated and the process can move to containment. Steps like entering data in the containment plan fields can be used to trigger additional fields for completion, like these evidence collection fields. Each of these evidence collection steps can be connected to Swimlane tasks and either automated or made available as record actions, thereby ensuring the analyst does not need to keep a myriad of tabs, systems, and applications open to facilitate the incident response process. Once the containment fields are complete, the process moves to the eradication phase. Once again, filling out the required fields can prompt the user for any additional information that should be completed on this step. Next is the recovery phase and completion of the necessary fields. After the recovery phase is the lessons learned phase and the fields on the lessons learned tab. As the fields are being completed on each tab, any additional required documentation and other artifacts can be attached to the incident record using the Artifacts Attachment field. Users can also make additional comments in the incident record using the Analyst Communications comment field. Once everything is complete for this incident, it can be closed by selecting Case Closed in the timeline. This will kick off all the closing steps specified in the Swimlane workflow, including creation of the event summary using the incident record details. Remember, like all Swimlane examples, everything is fully customizable and can be easily modified to match your existing process. This is one example of how the incident response process might be accomplished with Swimlane. Check out all the ways to use Swimlane and learn how to automate the world of security at swimlane.com.